When you look at the asset management industry, is there one, is there one or, or maybe a couple of concrete steps that you would like to see enacted to try and improve the diversity of the, uh, of the workforce? Yeah, I think so. So I think diversity, you've clearly got to split it into the, into the different segments, whether it's gender, LGBT, cognitive diversity or, or, or ethnicity. I think the key thing is to listen to the people within your business. Every culture within a business is different, but to understand the lived experience of people in your business is vitally important if you're going to make steps to correct this. So it's not just about getting a diverse slate into your business. It's also about creating an inclusive culture. And it's that culture that I think is really where companies need to really focus and really understand that lived experience of their employees. What is the Talk About Black movement that you have started here? What's the intention and how's it working? Yeah, so it's been going for about three years. Uh, and the idea is to address the underrepresentation of particularly black people in the asset management industry. Just a few stats. Uh, when you look across the city of London, it's based on the new, a new financial report. There were just 12 black fund managers uh, across the whole of the city of London out of thousands. Um, there's only two people that we can identify that sit in the C-suite of asset managers across the city of London again. So clearly there's a lot of work to be done. And what Talk About Black does, it doesn't lump all ethnic minorities together. It actually says ethnic minorities may have different experiences and in order to really tackle and, and, and increase representation of those ethnic mi minorities you have to really break them up and understand those lived experiences yes and with that in mind justin i wonder what what you can suggest also for inspiring young uh, black m men and women boys and girls to get involved with the fund management management industry and asset management does does more need to be done to reach out to the community to inspire them to get involved definitely one of the biggest challenges that we see is at entry level so at entry level when you speak to students in universities when you speak to kids in schools in communities they simply don't know either don't know the asset management industry exists or simply they do not see it as being attractive because they do not see people that look or sound like them in the industry so what the industry can do in this case is obviously reach out to those communities number one but also showcase role models showcase the people that are more diverse uh, because that will help attract a more diverse slate and obviously that should lead to better results in the future as you should get greater cognitive diversity by having a more diverse slate of people. Are you interested in getting a more diverse slate of people invested, Justin? You know, whenever we talk about um, quantitative easing, central banks boosting income inequality, it's all about the fact that for the most part, you've got, um, you know, white people invested and people of color not quite as much. Do you, do you look to change that or does that come down the line? No, that is something we are looking to change. We've identified a number of kinks in the hose pipe, an analogy which stops the talent, the black talent from flowing through. Uh, in particular, pipeline is where we want to address this because obviously learning about investing, learning about saving comes very early. So currently we're working on launching an after-school program. It's called the Catalyst After-School Program. And the idea is that this will go out into communities and teach people, first of all, softer skills, teach people um, how, you know, about networking and things like that, but also importantly okay. teach people about investing and how to invest their own money.